Hey everybody, Merry Christmas! I hope everybody had a fantastic Christmas out there. This is just a, a little blast from the past video. Um, some things that I think should be done to the Toyota Tacoma, some must-have mods that should be done like right away, like right now. Now maybe you got some of these for Christmas, maybe you got a little bit of that green stuff and you're looking for something to put on. Here's just a few ideas uh, from a video that I had posted a while back. Merry Christmas. Five things, really six, uh, that you must have if you buy a Toyota Tacoma. At least in my opinion, you've got to have these things. No choice. Run out and do it right away. And the first thing is that grill. You know, when I bought this Tacoma, it had that uh, ugly, ugly chrome grill. And that had the, of course, the chrome uh, ring around it here, I guess, as well as some chrome accenting in the honeycomb grill. Well, as you can see, obviously, I've replaced that with the, the pro grill that has the Toyota lettering inside instead of the Toyota badge, which I did like that Toyota badge, but I like this lettering better. And if you're real creative, and I may do this myself yet, you can paint these letters uh, to match the truck or whatever you want to do. Uh, I think that would be pretty cool. Now, one thing that I will mention, there's been some talk on the web recently about the sensor, the TSS system. Of course, on the original grill, it had the Toyota emblem here, and then the TSS system was right behind it, that sensor. It's now located down here, right behind this little panel. And the controversy lately has been that you, number one, I've heard, you can't change the grill because it will screw up the system. Well, I'm here to tell you that's a bunch of BS. You certainly can change the grill, especially if you go to something like this, and it's not going to mess up the sensor. I've had it in now for yeah, probably three weeks, maybe a little more, something like that, and I have had no issues with that system. Works perfectly, no glitches, no hiccups, no problems. Now, the other thing that folks have been talking about is the garnish that you can get that goes in front of the sensor on this particular grill. That garnish goes right here. This pops out and this shiny plastic piece goes here in front of it, supposedly to protect that sensor or make it work right. Now, the only thing that I can say about that is if you live in a climate that has a lot of snow or ice or if you're caking the front of your truck with mud and stuff, um, that might come in a little handy. However, if you get stuff even on that garnish, like ice or snow or mud, the system won't work. It won't work because it's blocked. It'd be the same as you standing in front of it and thinking it's going to work. If you block it, it won't work. So whether you put that garnish on or not, it doesn't matter. Now, some folks have said it'll keep the sensor clean. Eh, maybe. Because of the open slot here, stuff could potentially get in behind here and maybe get on the sensor. So I would say that uh, if there is any benefit to it at all, it's to keep the sensor as clean as you possibly can. That's about it. Again, I haven't had any issues with it myself, so I think it's okay. Next, let's talk about uh, the home link system, or lack thereof. Of course, in the Tacoma I got, there is no home link system. I'll show you guys up here around the mirror. You can see very well in here. There are no buttons. There is no home link. There's no buttons up here in the center. There are no buttons on the visors. There are no buttons anywhere. So there is no home link system in this truck. now. That's kind of a drag because I don't like having those garage door openers stuck all over my visors. You know, they rattle, they make noise, they're in the way. Sometimes when you put the visors down, they fall off. It's just a drag. So my solution, my homemade home link system, if you will, is to put a button in the blank. There, if you're lucky, there will be a blank here that you can pop out and put a button in. Now, I did go with a bigger one this time. You can get something that's not so visible, that kind of blends in more. But I wanted something a little bigger this time. And all this is, is a momentary switch wired to the garage door opener itself, which is hidden back here underneath the footwell. 
and it works perfectly. It's still accessible, so when the battery goes dead, obviously one day I'll have to pull it and change it, but I can still do that. What it does is gets the garage door opener off of the visor and out of the way, and I think it's a cool little mod anyway. You gotta have it, in my opinion. Okay, next is removal of the decals, or some of the badging, depending on what you have. Again, I am a big anti-chromist. So if you get this truck, and you get the model that has the chrome badging on it, both here on the doors, and then around here on the tailgate, as you can see normally, it wouldn't have the Tacoma insert, but it might have the V6 chrome badging back here. You gotta get rid of that. I mean, it's chrome. It just doesn't look good. Or black it out, at least. That's why I've kept mine on here, because it's blacked out. But, decals. I'm not a big decal fan whatsoever. And every Tacoma, I believe, and I also think every Tundra comes with decals on the back. They put decals back here, TRD Pro, TRD, or rather, TRD Sport, TRD Off-Road, there's always a badge here on the side. A decal badge. I can't stand those. They're very easy to get off. You heat them up a little bit, or if you just leave it sit out in the sun, you just grab a corner, they pull right off. There will be some adhesive underneath, of course, but you gotta get rid of those. If you buy a Tacoma, you gotta do that. You gotta take those off, unless you're a big decal fan. I don't know why, but that's a must do got to remove those decals. Look how much cleaner this looks. Disregard the uh, mud down here, of course. But look how much cleaner it looks. I think it's awesome without that badging on the side. Much better. Okay, next let's talk about interior lighting. You know, for some reason, manufacturers are still putting those old, what are they, candescent bulbs in vehicles. I don't know why today we're not putting LEDs all around, inside and outside, but we still have these incandescent yellow bulbs. So take a look. Here's what we have right now. Again, the yellow bulbs. There's some yellow bulbs in the visor, yellow bulbs in the top, and a yellow bulb in the dome light. Why? You must put LEDs inside the truck. I mean the light is just so much cleaner. And today you can also get colored LED bulbs. Dresses it up even a little bit more if you're into that. Okay, next let's talk about floor mats. You know, the truck comes with carpeted floor mats. Why? I don't care where you live, whether you live in a winter climate, whether you live in a, a, a warm climate, you're always going to get junk in your truck. And those floor mats are always going to get dirty, and once they do, you can never get that stuff out. I mean, it weaves into the carpet, and it's a drag. I know, I've had them for many, many years. So you must go with some sort of all-weather or winter floor mat. Now what I did, I went with the OEMs. These are all weather floor mats. They fit perfectly. They may be a little bit dirty right now, but they fit perfectly on the nubs that are in here. They overhang the spaces a little bit on each side, and they look really good. They're never going to get filthy, nasty, dirty like carpeted floor mats do. You know, when you stain a carpeted floor mat, that's pretty much it. These, you can take out, put a little soap on them. You don't even have to do that. Just spray them off, and they'll look practically brand new and they're very durable I've had these like I said for years in different trucks and different cars and they all hold up very very well I'll take a look here in the back again trucks a little bit dirty so you'll have to forgive me for that but there are only three pieces two in the front and this one goes all the way across it's all one piece and even fits properly over the center hump Again, these are the OEM floor mats, so they're designed specifically for this truck, and they do a really great job, and they're not that much money. I think a little over 100 bucks, something like that, if I recall. 
Now, you can also go aftermarket. You've got WeatherTechs, you've got Huskies. My preference, as I've mentioned before, is the Huskies um, because they're more of a rubberized material. Uh, the WeatherTechs seem to be kind of stiff or rigid, if you will. And from all that I've seen, and I had them in one vehicle, they just don't fit properly in the wells. They kind of stand up on the edges, if you will, because they're, they're not rubber and they don't conform. So I would recommend either Huskies or I'd probably go OEM. The best fit out there and for the money, I don't think you can beat them. Now, the last thing that I'm going to talk about, the final, and this is the sixth, like a bonus must have, is the exhaust. I mean, the Tacoma is an awesome looking truck. For a mid-sized truck, and I've said this a million times, best looking truck on the road, but it deserves a better voice. You guys could hear there, uh, this sounds kind of bland, kind of quiet with the OEM exhaust. We'll take a, a quick look over here. One thing that I do look about, or like rather, about this, uh, this particular trim is the blacked out tip. Now it's got a little mud on it there, you guys can see. But I do like the blacked out exhaust tip. And again, for me, that's a must. That really just goes over the existing uh, chrome pipe, if you will. But it really dresses up the truck, I think. And you've got to have something with a little bit deeper, throatier sound. Now I've been looking at a few. I think I've narrowed it down to what I'm gonna get. We'll save that for a future video. But uh, you've got to get something with more voice for your truck, especially if you do what I've done. If you lift it, if you put more aggressive tires and wheels on it, you certainly want something that gives it a little bit of grumble. doesn't make much sense to me to do that kind of stuff to the truck and then have an exhaust that's wimpy. You don't want a wimpy exhaust. You want something that's going to give it a voice, a good, deep, throaty, meaty voice. When your truck looks like this, it can't be quiet. Again, another must-have if you buy a Toyota Tacoma. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you think of my list. Do you agree? Please give this video a big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button if you haven't before. And we'll see you next time on the web. Have a good day. Bye.